Hi, welcome to part two of Pong. Part two, what we're going to do is create or put together our blocks and program uh, our Pong game to work. So first off, we're going to start. Uh, you want to open up your blocks if you haven't. Okay, get those open up. We're going to go to My Blocks and we're going to go to Canvas One, and we want to get the block that says Canvas One dot touched. And when you drag it in, it'll have the X and the Y, and it'll have a uh, touch sprite. Those will, will already be in there. What we're going to do is set up the position of our paddle. So you want to go to Paddle here. And that the paddle is basically our image sprite that we put in. If you didn't name it Paddle, it'll be called Image Sprite 1 by default. Okay. So you want to click under My Blocks, go to Paddle, or Image Sprite 1, whatever you have. And you want to find the one that says set paddle x to. So the x is your width. Okay, so we're going to set it under my blocks, my definitions, we're going to set it to the value of x. Okay. So when you touch the canvas, it'll move on the x, which is the width. So you should be able to click, or if you have a phone, touch the screen, and it'll move the width of the canvas. Next thing we need to do is set up, um, basically, when the ball hits the edge, that it'll bounce off. And if it goes below the paddle, it'll be a game over. So you want to go to My Blocks and get the one that says Ball 1, Edge Reached. Okay, so when the ball reaches the edge, we want it to do something. We're going to go into built-in, and we'll go into controls. And you want to get the one that says if else. We're going to test for a situation, then do else do. It's this second one here. We want to test that edge one is equal to negative one. And if you remember from the little screen, edge one, uh, edge one, if it's negative one, that'll be the bottom part of the screen. All right, so we'll, we'll get the uh, equal sign. So under built-in math, let's get the equal sign. My blocks, my definitions, get value edge. And we want it to equal the... Uh, under math, negative one. So go to built in math, get the number, type in negative one for the value. Alright, so if the edge is equal to negative one, which would be below the paddle, so if I'm looking at my emulator, we're talking about down here. If the ball reaches that, then we want the uh, ball to stop moving and we want the score to say game over. Okay, so in order to do that, go to my blocks and ball one, and you're going to set ball one where it says enabled. Set ball enabled. We want it to be false. So under built in logic, we'll put it to false. That'll make our ball stop moving. And we're going to set the score label.txt. So score label, find the one that says set score label.txt. We want the text to say game over. So we'll go to built in text and then under text, you're going to type in game over. Alright, so that's what it'll do if the edge is negative one. We also want it to uh, bounce off. Okay, so if it uh, doesn't do that, it'll bounce off. So we'll go to my blocks, we'll go back to ball one. You want to find where it says ball one dot bounce. And we want to set up the edge. So the edge under my blocks, my definitions, it'll be value edge. Okay. So if it doesn't hit that bottom edge, it's going to keep bouncing off of the other edges, which would be the left and the right side as well as the top. Okay, so it'll bounce. It'll bounce off if it hits this side, this side, or the top. It'll keep bouncing. All right, so we have those two. Next, what we need to do is set up a scoring system. 
So we'll go to built-in definitions. We're going to create a score variable. So you're going to type in score. And we're going to set the value of the score to 0. So we'll go to built-in math, 0. And then we're going to create an update score procedure. So let's go to built-in definition. You want to get the one without a result. So it'll be the second one here. We're going to name our procedure update score. And then under built-in definition, get the block that says name and put it in that first socket. And for the name, we're going to type in score value all together there. And that will create a second uh, socket. We're going to leave that socket empty. Underneath where it says do, we're going to go to my blocks. We're going to go to uh, my definitions. And we're going to set global score to the score value. So under my blocks, my definitions, you want to find the one that says uh, a value and then score value. Plug that in. And we're also going to have it label uh, the score text label. So we'll go here to score label. We'll find the one that says set score label dot text. And let's go ahead and under built in text, you want to get the one that says join. And go back to text again. We're going to get a text. And we're going to type in score with a colon. And we're going to join that to the global score. So under my blocks, my definitions, we will connect it to the global score there. And this seems uh, like a good stopping point for part two. Um, when we come back, we will create a start button and we'll also get our collision for the ball to, to score it. Okay, So once you have this, go ahead and save and then move on to part three.